Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So, recently, more than ever, I've been getting calls from everywhere. Emails from everywhere. Instagrams from everywhere. Asking me the same question. What is that question? Stay tuned. All right, so coffee sponsor of today is another someone. Someone writes, thank you for all you do. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, guess someone is pretty popular uh, when it comes to buying me a coffee because um, someone cares. <laughs> and I appreciate all the someones that do care. So here's to you guys. Here's to all the anonymous people out there whose name is someone. Um, cheers to you. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day and be my special someone, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you don't want to buy me a coffee and just want to contribute to the channel and keep me rolling, there's a little button down there below called Super Thanks. Just click on that and you can contribute as little or as much as you like. Um, to hook us up in the channel. All right. Thank you guys so, so much. We appreciate it a lot. All right, guys. So a lot, a lot of people have been, for some reason, contacting me, whether it be in the store, online, um, pretty much everywhere, asking and they always ask in this same way for some reason. And I don't understand why. So, and it's like, it goes a little something like this. Hi, you wouldn't happen to have a 2010 Pro Staff lying around, would you? You wouldn't happen to have a grommet from the original Pure Drive, would you? You wouldn't happen to have a K-Swiss Hypercourt Express original in a nine lying around, would you? So I don't understand this lying around stuff. I mean, is a shoe going to be just laying there on the beach for like 10 years waiting for you to find it? Like, this, is, this is what I don't understand. What's the lying around? Next time you call somebody and you ask, like, you wouldn't happen to have a shoe called a Hypercord Express from like five years ago. Ask it that way. I don't understand the lying around thing. So I'm just happen to have something that's collected dust for 10 years lying around waiting for you to call me and find me right was this freaking orphan annie waiting for you to adopt me or something i don't understand this stuff right lying around excuse my rant so guys ain't nothing gonna be lying around for you you can call Every store in the world, and ain't nothing going to be lying around. Now, if you have friends that kind of in, is in this situation, tell them what I just told you. Ain't nothing lying around. And don't even say that, because it's just stupid. <laughs> okay? Now, for those of you who are really desperate, looking for stuff that is extremely old, Right? What do most smart people do? Yeah, Google it. The exact item that you're looking for, go to a Google search and see what comes up. I've had a minimum amount of success doing that because you're looking for obscure stuff that is pretty hard to find. 
Okay? So, I mean, platforms like eBay, probably best options for a lot of this stuff. Um, if you're looking for old rackets, I've had people looking for grommets for pro staffs or hyper pro staffs. My advice to you is if you find it, right, and you know it's the right one, buy it. But what you also should do is actually try to buy the actual racket too. Because if you love that racket, instead of just play, replacing the guard, like this one's all worn out, um, try to find an actual racket too. At least you have a spare. Because that grommet, if they know what they got, it's probably going to be like 25, 30, 40. I've seen grommets pff, for 100 bucks because it's that rare. And the racket you can probably get for 100 bucks. So look for the actual racket too. Like let's let's be smart about this a little bit. Um, as for the grommet though, right? Everybody thinks that there's grommets lying around. And the interesting thing, the interesting thing about grommets is literally they charge nothing for this when it's new and in line. Therefore, they don't really care about making more. They'd rather sell you a racket, wouldn't they? So why would somebody keep making this thing and selling it for eight or $10 versus trying to sell you a racket for 250 or 300? So a couple comments out there saying, yeah, companies don't care about making grommets. This is gonna sell you a new racket. Well, you're damn right, because it takes a lot of effort to make this little piece of plastic, you know, and it probably takes the same effort to make this racket. Probably takes the same amount of time, I would guess. Um, and it's probably, it's not worth it to the company to keep dulling these out for you. And so I would, they used to make them when when they wanted to and felt like it, and they felt generous with their time. But I feel like they wait a generation or two, so maybe four years max, max, before they stop making these. So if you love your racket and you know you love your racket, buy a dozen of these. Yes, buy a dozen of these. And if you know you burn them out, get 24, because they won't be there. They will not be there, okay? And I know there's some confusion over, you know, year after year, pro staffs, um, pure drives, they change. And yes, they do. And it's really confusing to find the right one if you're like four or five generations removed and you have like a team version or a light version. So make sure you get the right one because that, that is very, very frustrating. If you don't know what it is, the numbers have changed in the stock number, and you're basically looking for a needle in the haystack. Okay, now, let's talk about shoes lying around. Fortunately, K-Swiss has decided to bring Hypercord Expresses back out in a limited run. We probably get about 72 of these a year, and that's all we're limited to in terms of pre-booking. So I have to order these a year out. And therefore, there's no lying around. They're actually being shipped in and we are selling them. And they are lying around for maybe a month or two because they do sell out that fast. This is the Hypercord Express Original. Okay, so if you're looking for that special Air Trainer Max from 1990 whatever that John McEnroe wore or Andre Agassi wore there's no lying around in that stuff okay so delete that word from your vocabulary unless you're about to go to sleep you're about to go to the beach or about to go do something but tennis stuff don't really lie around okay except maybe at the goodwill and even then, if it's a prized possession, they ain't going to lie around that long, that long. At least not if I'm around. 
All right. Guys, ain't nothing lying around, except for maybe you. And you getting on your phone and your computer and you're calling me. So get up off your behind and Google it. eBay it. Figure it out. One quick tip, though. I found a lot of good stuff on racketguys.com in Canada. So let's go to the Canadians sometimes and search there. I've had a little bit of luck over there with grommets. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis lying around. Uh, is this on? Harry, Harry, what are we doing here? Oh, hey, bud. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So I'm just setting up my swing vision over here so that during our hitting session, uh, we can, you know, see how bad I'm doing today. Okay, great. Yeah. But you won't be doing bad, Harry. No. You'll I'm... be moving your feet watching the ball. This, this is why I love you, buddy. <laughs>